CNN is reporting that Jared Kushner did not disclose his personal email account to the Senate Intelligence Committee. Plus, after nearly a decade in jail, we'll learn of O.J. Simpson's plans after release. And it's National Coffee Day, a day to celebrate the classic brewed beverage, which for many is still the best part of waking up. Tonight on ABC, it's an all-new episode of Marvel's Inhumans. While you're enjoying your cup of joe, be sure to head over to abccolumbia.com to enter into an all-expense-paid trip to Dallas, and we're giving you a chance to win a family four-pack to the state fair. From the ABC Columbia studio, I'm Kimberly Davis. Thank you for joining me. Here are your trending headlines for Friday, September 29th. President Donald Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, reportedly failed to tell the Senate Intelligence Committee about a personal email account. Kushner, Ivanka Trump's husband and advisor to the president, apparently used the personal email account for official business. The committee is investigating Russian interference in last year's election. Committee leaders sent him a letter Thursday telling him to double check to make sure he has turned in all communications relevant to the investigation. Kushner's attorney said they've already checked the account and there's no issue. The latest now on O.J. Simpson's release. After nine years behind bars, Simpson will go free in just days. Here's Matt Gutman in Los Angeles. This morning, O.J. Simpson's movements after his expected release from the Nevada prison system, one of the biggest secrets in Sin City. But Tom Scotto, Simpson's best friend for nearly two decades, says once he's out, he won't be shying away from the public eye. You know, we're not going to hide. He's going to do the same things he always did. Simpson was granted parole in July after a fiery hearing in which the Hall of Fame running back said he was one of the best prisoners ever in Nevada. I don't think any inmate has ever represented it better than I. I've done my time. By all accounts, Simpson has an unblemished prison like record. It. But as parole gets closer, time gets harder. He's currently sequestered in protective custody. He's going a little bit crazy because he's in solitary, so he's a people person, likes to talk. Simpson has said he plans to live in Florida near two of his children, but his attorneys tell ABC News the, the paperwork to get him there to him hasn't been morning. filed yet. In the meantime, Scotto doubts Simpson will get into trouble again. All he wants to do is spend time with his family, his friends, and his, his, uh, his, his kids and play golf. But for now, the man Scotto says has lost everything in a decade in jail says he's got a lot to adjust to, like new technology. Ten years ago, there was no iPhones. He never used modern technology before. But most of all, Scotto says Simpson is looking forward to spending time with his family. He hasn't seen his sister, his kids. Let's raise a toast to Java. It's National Coffee Day in which the spotlight is shown on one of the world's most popular beverages. According to expert cuppers, those are professional coffee tasters, four components make a perfect cup. They are acidity, aroma, body, and flavor. Brazil is the biggest coffee producer in the world with Colombia in second place. People who want to take part in its unofficial holiday can use the hashtag National Coffee Day. Stay up to date with breaking news, weather alerts, traffic updates, sports, and more when you download the ABC Columbia mobile app. Here's a sneak peek at tonight's episode of Marvel's Inhumans. I'm Kimberly Davis. Have a great weekend, and thanks for watching. Nothing can keep us from being free. Marvel's Inhumans. Special premiere tonight, 8, 7 central on ABC.